You know, as you're driving along the roads uh, and you pass a police officer, you probably don't think much about it, but they have scanners, many of them, on the back of the trunk of the car. They almost look like radar uh, detectors. And they can scan a license plate. Even at night, right now, as you're driving along with traffic passing, it can scan the license plate coming, going while the car's parked, and then it starts logging that data. It'll check to see if the registration is current, those kinds of things, but it will also store it in a computer for more than a year. And that is the uh, a ACLU a little bit upset because they're saying they can use this data to track and pinpoint where a car has been around the city, and that's an invasion of privacy. Some police departments around the state have them. They're cameras that scan a license plate. Whether it's parked or moving, the camera takes a picture of the plate, then checks to make sure it's registered and not stolen. It's a great law enforcement tool, but it's what police are doing with the data afterwards that has the ACLU on the offensive. This is the kind of thing that shows very, very detailed information about people, where they've been, where they live, if they're in an AA treatment program, whether they're... You get that from a license plate? You can tell that if someone's in front of that building a lot. The ACLU says they found 10 police departments from Newington to Wethersfield all sharing the same database. They had more than 3 million hits stored over the last year and a half, something David says he and his entire office was a victim of. Everyone in our office had scans at our old building. Uh, the grocery store where I shop, I just got scanned there three times. So that kind of data, you can tell a lot about a person's whereabouts. And the important thing to realize is that these are innocent people. The ACLU says the biggest problem is that all of this information is public record. This photo shows all of the actual scans done at the Manchester Mall. The red dots are all different plates and kept in a database that is open to the public. They should let it go, not keep it. You don't know whose hands that's going to fall. It's public information. I can go get it right now. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it's kind of scary. If you're trying to get um, someone that may have stolen a car that, and using the plates for something else, that's good. But if you're going to try to keep it longer than that, that, I feel like that's too long. Now, one of the things that the ACLU would like to do is have lawmakers put forward a law that says that you can only keep the data around for two or three weeks. That's kind of what happens up in Maine. Maine only allows it for three weeks, then it has to be dumped, they say. That way it will protect privacy. They're not against, and we want to make it clear, they're not against this technology. They say it has its place in law enforcement. They just are concerned for the public's privacy. I'm Bob Wilson, reporting live in Hartford, News 8.